Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. Hey, we're looking at Psalm 98 today, and uh, I love this psalm because it kind of confronts some of our, and I say our, kind of church folk complaints. Uh, listen to this and let's talk about it. The psalmist says, Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. His right hand and his holy arm have worked salvation for him. The Lord has made known his salvation. He has revealed his righteousness in the sight of the nations. He has remembered his steadfast love and faithfulness to the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth. Break forth into joyous song and sing praises. Sing praises to the Lord with the lyre, with the lyre and the sound of melody, with trumpets and the sound of the horn. Make a joyful noise before the King, the Lord. Let the sea roar and all that fills it, the world and those who dwell in it. Let the rivers clap their hands. Let the hills sing for joy together before the Lord, for he comes to judge the earth. He will judge the world with righteousness and the peoples with equity. Um, did you notice some things like verse 1? Sing to the Lord a new song. Uh, it's, look, I've been pastoring Calvary for 31 years, and I've heard people complain about, why can't we sing the old songs, the old ones of faith? Those are the ones that are good. Uh, verse 4, where he said, make a joyful noise. Um, when I first came to Calvary, there were complaints all the time that we weren't reverent enough, that especially before services, that we weren't quiet, and we needed to be meditating and listening to organ music as, as you know, the service was waiting to begin. And I was messing that up because I was talking to everybody and greeting everyone. There was lots of noise. In verse 6, he says, with trumpets and with horns, make a joyful noise. Uh, I still get complaints about it being too loud, especially at our modern services. Uh, in verse 8, it says, the rivers clap their hands. Oh, when we first started clapping at Calvary, there are people saying, why are we clapping? Are we at a show? This isn't a show, it's supposed to be worship. Um, so why do I mention all that stuff? Because God wants us to celebrate. And it's mentioned multiple times, his goodness, his grace, his salvation. God wants us to celebrate. And by the way, if we can't celebrate, if we don't celebrate, then there's something wrong with our souls. Uh, that's why at Calvary, one of our core values is contagious celebration. Because we believe that following Jesus results in a joy-filled life, and that joy-filled life will draw other people to Jesus. After all, joy is kind of one of the fruit of the Holy Spirit. And I've been in lots of churches where nobody was rejoicing because it wasn't considered uh, important. It wasn't considered spiritual, and yet you can't really be filled with the Holy Spirit if there's no joy. So, here at Calvary, we're going to celebrate forgiveness because, well, we deserve judgment. We're going to celebrate love because we deserve anger. We're going to celebrate heaven because we deserve hell. I'm telling you this because you have a reason to celebrate, to make a joyful noise, and to sing a new song, and to be loud because Jesus is good and he has saved us. So make a joyful noise, but more importantly, why don't you live a joyful life and see how God uses that to draw people to his son. God bless and have a great day. Have a joyful day.